Hey folks, back in the blower room. Look familiar? Uh, see everything behind me there, right? And there's the blowers again. Uh, after that last video, some people expressed an interest in the tremolo system on this organ, which is really a great, ingenious piece of work. And so this video is going to be just about how the tremolos operate in this organ. Now, uh, as you'll see, there used to be the motorized controls for left and right side separately. The left side, uh, which was disconnected many years ago, is now run by the Opus 2 system uh, for the uh, impulses and stuff, so its motor is missing and it's disconnected. On the right side, the motor is still there and does actually operate uh, the uh, everything on the right side. So I'm going to turn the camera around here. All right, so this is the master tremolo system for the entire organ right here, okay? I brought a light down here with me because it's pretty dark. Okay, so here's how this works. Here's a motor, right? Here's a chain driving a wheel. Up there, see that, right? As the wheel spins around, it trips a switch. I guess that's a switch. I don't think that's like a Hall effect sensor or anything. But there it is, right up there. Those pulses are then sent to all of the tremolos throughout the organ, uh, dump valves on each reservoir that is affected by tremolo, and will um, uh, make them work, make them operate. Now, the great thing about this setup in the old days was the speed control. And this is really, this is really genius. Okay, so up there are what sort of look like two Wiffle tree swell motors. Okay, you see that, you see the bag hanging down there in this lever arm. What would happen is when you were at the console and you rotated the speed control for the tremolos, it would activate pneumatics. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight magnets up on top there. See those? And inside is, you know, like a whiffle, it is, it's a whiffle tree swell shade motor and it pulls on this lever, okay? The lever comes down and would actually rotate stops on an old GE rheostat. So that's in the full up position and that's in the down position. These wires here would then go to the motor, which would affect the speed of the tremolos. Now, uh, you notice those wires are not connected. And I, I asked about this, and uh, you have to remember, this didn't occur to me, this is an alternating current motor. When the organ was originally installed, it was all direct current. You can't use this style of rheostat on an AC motor. So the speed control is not operating now, what they do have is that control right there, and you can see it says organ variable speed motor, and it's set right there. That is controlling the speed of the tremolos now, not the, uh, the thing. So you, you can't uh, control the speed of the tremolos from the console right now. Now, interestingly, There are some markings here. I don't know if that's coming through on the camera or not. It says low 25 inches, July 21, 46, and high 80, July 21, 1946. Right there. I'm not sure what that refers to. But there is. This is easy to tell what this refers to here. Uh, that says great solo strings echo in gallery two. Okay. And then for the old one over here, which is not available, swell choir string one and three gallery four and fanfare. So 
all of this controlled, as I said, everything basically on the left side of the auditorium, and that controlled everything on the right side of the auditorium, and still does. Now one thing I'm not sure about, this, this magnetic pickup up there, I don't know how it produces its pulses, because if it's just an extremely short, sharp pulse, uh, it wouldn't give the dump valves time to operate. So I don't know exactly how that operated, but it works somehow because it, it really works well. And there's not much else to show here, but I do want to make one, one point of the improvisatory nature of some of this stuff. The, you, you look at this where the uh, motor used to be, you look up here, okay, down, right there. That is a bicycle chain ring. That is not some adapted industrial part or anything. That is actually from a bicycle. I can tell you right now. <laughs> and, and yes, that is what's over there too. I mean, it, it is literally a bicycle part. So maybe Mid Merlosh was into cycling. Maybe they had some uh, bikes lying around the shop, you know, and they uh, just wanted to do it that way. But one way or another, Oh, okay. Well, here, here's an interesting little thing that didn't even occur to me. Here's the pickup wheel on the side that, uh, that used to operate. And it actually has, let's see if I can get a better angle here. 